Should we begin with intentions or distractions? I think that we, we can do something else this, this week. Maybe I loved uh, a question in the com in communication group that was, what's your favorite dinosaur? And in my case, I like the ones that uh, fly because it was like, it's, it's the precursor of the, the verse, you know. And I'm going to pass it to Septi. Oh, thank you, Sam. I already answered that question. Uh, I think the name was Triceraptor. Is that okay? Is that right, YGG? Uh, because I, it's like the one with the horns. That's my favorite one. And I, Tricer don't... I think Triceratops. Yes. Uh, then, then I got it because I, I remember uh, I didn't knew the name. And yeah, YGG told me and now I got the name. So that's cool. <laughs> Uh, and I'll pass it to Jake. Ah, uh, dinosaurs, huh? Uh, huh? Oh, you know what? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump on a whole other wagon here and say that I don't believe dinosaurs were real, and that's just God testing our faith, and that's that doesn't exist, and those bones aren't real, and it's all just lies. That's that's what I'm gonna say. Okay. I'm going to pass it off to Sean. Okay, Jake. Interesting opinions. <laughs> Maybe start a forum post about it. <laughs> See what everyone thinks. Okay, so, yeah, I'm going to stick with the same one I said last time. It's the Prototaxades. No, no let's see. Prototaxides, which is uh, ancient giant mushrooms that were like, giant like trees, and they don't exist anymore. Um, but there's fossils of them. So that's my favorite dinosaur. And I'll pass it over to Paulo. Uh, hi, guys. Uh, mm, I think I'm going with the most common one, uh, T-Rex. <laughs> and yeah, uh, I'll pass it to Fiore. Yeah, I was going to say that my favorite one is the T-Rex too. Uh, I love it since I was a little child. I, I have a lot of toys of T-Rex, so that's my favorite one. <laughs> and I'm not sure uh, who is last because um, I just get inside uh, again, but maybe I pass it to Fabi. Okay. Um... Uh, well, uh, you made me Google it because I don't know anything about uh, uh, dinosaurs. <laughs> uh, I, uh, but yeah, I like the Triceratops also. I was thinking in T-Rex, but the Triceratops is a good option. Uh, I don't know who is missing. I can take it and oh, I'll pass Tom. it to you. Oh, you got it, Tim. Yeah. Um, I like the flying ones. So I like the Tesaurus. Uh, pterosaurus, pterosaurus, pterodactyl, pterodactyls, pterosaurus. Um, yeah, I like that one a lot. And I'll pass it back to you, Griff. Uh, man, it's tough. I don't know its name, but I don't even know if it's real. But at least in Jurassic Park, it like had like these things that came out and then it spit. Oh, yeah. The the tar. <laughs> I like that guy. That guy's wild. Um, okay, Sam. Okay, thank you. If you if you can think something like that for the next week, I I think that I recycled it from the communications because it, I really like that that question. But maybe we can come up with something else next week. And well, I I also wanted to know what were your intentions for this call from my side. If, if we can grab now uh, a kind of quick agenda from my side, what we can do is, because we have also Tam here, to review wh where we are right now and what are we going to do this week. That's one. The second one is um, wh where we are personally each one, uh, what, what, can, what are we doing and, and how, and if we need some help or something from the group to give the space to uh, tell it and, and see how we can uh, connect uh, together. 
And maybe if we have time, we can talk about uh, more funding from OneHive. We have to write, um, uh, we have to wrap up the work that we have been doing. And at least to say, we have been doing that. Thank you for, for the for the funding, that, that was worth it. But I think that we are also going to need some more funds. If we, because the other mm, meanings that we have to, to fund the project is via um, Gitcoin, but we are not receiving so much money from, from Gitcoin. Um, yeah, the idea, the idea is to request more, more funds. Griff was saying, let's request 150 more honey. So, so there's so much, yeah, go ahead, Griff. If, if you'd like, I can um, go over the sprint board that I have uh, in because we just got out of a sprint planning meeting for um, and we can just see make sure that uh, the, that it's aligned with uh, what we actually can do because <laughs> in the last call, okay. I was just kind of guessing what the garden swarm will be up to this week. So um, cameras thumbs up. Uh, so I have uh, the sprint backlog here, uh, and I can give a link to this too. Maybe I'll just put it in uh, in our TE One Hive channel. So there's uh, obviously all the hatch stuff. Uh, I do have an issue for make the funding proposal for Garden Swarm, uh, and I'm happy to take that on to make sure it gets done. I was sort of waiting until the um, hatch is launched or the, the test hatch. Does that make sense or should we just push it anyway? I think that the most interesting thing for the garden swarm is that we have been migrating the applications to Builder and things that are, I think that we can talk about two different things. One, the improvements in technology, and the other one, the things that we have been doing in PEC. If that has sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Because we uh, we have really rocked. We have been adapting the Aragon converter to one Hive's marketplace app. Yeah. Well, I can, what I'll say is I will take this on um, and I will not make launching the hatch the test rehearsal of Locker. So I'll make sure this is done within the next two weeks. Okay. Um, and I'll bug you about it because <laughs> I'll need information. Um, hatch min and max goals. I assume this might already be done. I don't know. Yeah, it's done. Um, we we done it, and I review it, and and we have it done. The only thing is that we have to deploy it in the. We have to integrate it into the template and and deploy it, which will take some more time. But I don't know where where is time, the moment to close it or just leave it open because no, those two things. No, are we can pending. close it, and because I have that written down, I a different issue. Um, what about the impact hours conversion? It's also done. Also done. Yeah, Fabi did it, and I brought the rest of the tests that we needed for that. So it's finally done. It's I said in the chat, it's finished, finally finished, <laughs> finally finished. That's amazing. <laughs> um, so what about uh, finish hatch smart contract? No, it's not yet ready. What we are doing, okay. it's, it's, integra it's related with the impact hours. What we are doing is separating the hatch from the marketplace app. And it, it's, it's almost ready, but it will need some more time. Uh, who's leading the charge? There? Yeah, like who's taking it on? 
Um, I was taking it on because it's related okay. with the impact hours thing. I, I might ask some help from Paolo, but the the primary thing that I need from Paolo is to coordinate with the front end and and put the two things together. Maybe we can work on the template together, Pablo. Sure. Uh, limiting contributions based on C stack. I think that's done, right? That's the same than the one that you already closed. Oh. Wait, so then yeah. I can close this one too. I think that Sweet. The, it's important to, ha to have it in the, in the template, which we are not actually limiting yet because we just wrote the application that allows to limit. Cool. So I have this, um, I have this like general issue that is covering a few topics, but I don't know if it's all of them. So um, add an impact formula, is that a new sum? Mm -hmm. This is, oh, so that's, these, let me just say, this is the issue that's like, let's launch the rehearsal, you know, let's, let's, uh, you know, what do we got to do? So uh, there is adding the impact hours formula. Mm -hmm. That is going to be, as I was saying, we are separating the hatch and the marketplace. So now we will have the, the hatch as a contract. And then I, I still don't know which is the best way to do that because if we do it as it was before, it will be much more compatible with everything else. But maybe it doesn't have so much sense now. And we would like to make more changes in the API in order to make a, clean, a cleaner code. So I, I still. I'm not sure where to go, but the idea is that the impact hours thing is going to be something that you add to the hatch as an extension. You are adding a lot of issues, but I think that all of them are more or less the same. Yeah, well, this is this is all one issue, just with some details. So just to see where we're at. So we have to decide how to separate the hatch and then separate the hatch, right? I know it sounds silly, but it does sound like first we have to decide how to separate the hatch. Uh, I What I usually do is do the two things and then decide which, which one is best. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I, I mean, that's fair. I mean, like. Sometimes you need to see what they look like, right? Um, okay, cool. And then, so those will just get done at the same time, basically. We'll pick one. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, then we add fine, impact hours. Then we add the impact hours into the hatch. Mm -hmm. And then the hatch app is basically finished. Is there any other steps that need to be there? The hatch app is. Yeah, it's yeah. I, I think that it's finished, so that one can be closed. Oh, the, it's already done, but impact hours aren't in it, right? Ah, okay. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I was I was thinking on a, on another thing. I was thinking okay. it was about the CSDK. Yeah, let's let's say that finishing touches in catch up. Yeah. And then and then we integrate the apps into the template, although that does yeah. have its own issue somewhere. But that that's going to be the difficult one, I guess. Okay. The one that is going to take more time. And is is someone are so you're on all of these, right? Some the first four? Yeah. But more, more or less. Maybe maybe Pablo can take on the but the problem is that it's it's something that is Linear. You cannot do one thing before you, you have the, the previous one, kind of. It's sure. it's more it's more or less the same issue, but we we are splitting it up very very much, but at the same it's it's all it's all the same to work in the in the hat. Well, and... maybe 
I, I, I kind of like this idea, and Paulo, you can speak up, um, of like, yes, you, it's about who's carrying the flag, right? Like, of course, Paulo's going to need to bug you to get that, to get it done. But, you know, maybe we let Paulo carry this flag, and so then you don't have to worry about it. Mm. What do you think, Paulo? Also, one. Yeah, I, I still um, uh, want to know how to uh, integrate the impact hours uh, formula to the hatch. But uh, I can discuss that with Sam on, on a private meeting or something. But yeah, uh, I think uh, uh, I can do it with with Sam help. I, I will need some feedback from Sam with the uh, latest update on the on the hatch changes. But but uh, uh, I I think I can do it. Also, you you can begin with integrating the CSDK limitation. Also, and then continue. We can continue with the two because at the same time I will be working on the impact hours, and then we can map. Okay, so to let you have some time to complete the impact hours thing, I can do. I can start with the with the with the CSTK. Okay, sorry. I think that oh. I have a major delay. No, no need to apologize, Paulo. This is, these are heroic things. Um, taking <laughs> on the, the Hatch Oracle as well, right? Or is someone else on that? I think that it's the same. Ah, oh, okay, the Hatch no. Oracle is the, the same. It's the same, yeah. 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 Okay. And impact hours is the other one. Well, inter is there any other apps that need to be integrated? I don't know if we should add an any app that it's migration to encapsulate much better what what does it mean to migrate to a new DAO. I don't know if we should do it in this hatch or in the future or not do it at all. Because it can be done in Definitely just one boat. Mm. Are we taking into account the... Maybe it's a very easy thing, the, yeah? uh, the, Are we taking into account the market maker or we worry about that later? Worry about that later. We can, we can worry about it later, later. because... Um, okay. Yeah. Because uh, once we, since we're launching in two parts, really we just need Dandelion DAO and the Hatch. Um, in fact, one thing is, I guess the Hatch tribute sounds like that's going to be part of a later thing. So, like defining some of these things that we have to actually include into the template. Like we have to separate out all this conviction voting and and aug augmented bonding curve stuff too. I guess that's easy, but Maybe not. The commission voting is easy to separate because it's an independent application. The bonding curve is a little bit more difficult, but we are working on it. It's a bit a little is bit difficult its because it's integrated with the presale or the hatch. Okay. But we, we are already dealing with it with this application with this issue. Yeah. Uh, adapt the front end to the new contract. Is that? That's what yes. Paolo is doing. We will also need to integrate that min and max goal in the in the front end. So I guess that it's going to be very easy. But maybe you, Paolo, can can do that if you are already yeah. more familiar with it. But uh, I have to wait for you to finish the Deploy. contract changes. Yeah. I get that it's blocked. Should that be in the TC template? Or is that an issue that goes somewhere else? 
It's part of the front end of the hat. No, it should not be here. It should be in the no, TC hat. It should be in the TC hat. I think I have uh, some echo, but it's not me that. Is it some echo? No. TC hat. It's following me. Right. Is it a T? It's on the bottom. Yeah. My internet is slow, or my computer or <laughs> Discord is stealing all resources that I have to share. You, you need some boundaries. You put some boundaries on Discord. You can only consume half of the RAM, Discord. You have to let something to, for the, the rest. Yeah, just share, man. Whatever, good enough. Oh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's for the bureaucratic management. Okay, so this is, <laughs> looks like uh, Paulo. Paulo is getting stuff, but what about Fabi? I feel like this this issue is complete, right? Like you do the finishing touches on this, and then ideally, also I want to review the um, new Dow JS and just mm -hmm. like be an extra set of eyes on the parameters we pick. Mm -hmm. Who who are you, Fabi? Who are you, Fabi? Hey Sam, uh, uh, I, I'm 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 really fine. Thank you. Um, so uh, did you I entirely I, recover from the? the go ahead, sorry. Did, did you ahead, entirely sorry. recover from the um, um, operation? Yeah, I'm like ninety percent. Yeah, I'm okay. like ninety percent. Nice. Nice. Which one is that? Excuse me. So he's 90% on what? Um, he had an operation. Oh, um, man. Yeah, I, I, I had a, a, a surgery. Uh, yeah, a surgery. Um, I got uh, appendicitis. So, yeah, last week I, 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 I was recording. Oh, man. Well, I'm glad you're feeling better. That's fantastic news. Thank you. Um, okay, so the other <laughs> changing the topic. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and the and the thing that we I'm sorry, I have a lot of delay. The, the the thing that we were doing with Fabi was the tech UI, and I think that the last. Thing we we said together is that he needed the npm from TEC, but I I say that it's it's not really needed. You can use GitHub itself in order to grab the a package from npm. D did you manage to do that, Javi? I I have some on the updates on on that side. Uh, uh, Sam. Uh, so last week uh, I, I was. Uh, uh, working a, a little on the tech UI. Um, I updated mm -hmm. the documentation that you asked. There is a pull request that I sent already. Uh, then um, hey. I tried to to publish the library in NPM, uh, but uh, I faced that uh, Paulo already created the, the the organization on NPM, so I couldn't. So Paulo this morning uh, added me to the organization, so I'm ready to publish the the, the project as a library. So uh, anyone can use it uh, with an npm uh, command. Uh, so that from that side, take UI is is ready. Um, 
and my, my, my goal for this week is uh, to work on the original uh, task that you assigned me, that was the, the redesigning of the uh, tech interface. The, the hatch interface, right? Yes. Great. Uh, also, Griff sent me uh, uh, the other day uh, 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 an issue to take over on it. Uh, there is uh, a small uh, uh, documentation of one of the projects, the Hatch Oracle, I think. Can you check? Yeah, I think that this is the. You say that you published a pull request, right? Yes. With documentation. And this, no, 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 no. This was uh, the, no, 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 no. The Griff sent me uh, uh, one issue related to the Hatch Oracle. Uh, it's an issue that you mm -hmm. created uh, in order to update the, the parameters that we changed on the contract of the of the Oracle. The ratio and do you remember that? Yes. Okay. So uh, yeah. And, uh, and uh, we, uh, I missed your pull request. I I don't know which one you are referring to. I can send you uh, through. Uh, I I will review uh, through this call. Yeah, no worries. That one. Okay. Oh, okay. In tech UI, great. In tech UI. Yeah, I I'm not sure if you uh, merged the previous one because it's uh, uh it's open. If I you want to so. pull yeah. requests. I, there are okay, two pull requests. Okay, I think that I was reviewing it, and I I don't I was like, should we do that? Should not we do? I was still thinking on, okay, on on. on I I think that it's it was looking okay, but maybe I I can provide with more feedback. This is why oh. it's not yet merged. Okay, no no problem. Uh in order to, to, to publish the, the library in, in NPM, uh, we will need to have all the things in, in the master branch. Okay. Otherwise, we, uh, uh, if we install the, the, the package, we will be installing the, the original uh, mm -hmm. uh, Aragon UI thing. OK. okay. The, the other way was to use that, me that method that I, I told, but I think that it will be easier for it will be easier to to create a pre-published version or something like that i guess right yes yeah, sure that, that's why you uh, are, that, me that method works okay uh, i also would like to ask Vivi if, if she can provide also feedback to to the tech ui because she's so good on I think that she can also provide very good feedback. Okay. Uh, I, I will I will try to reach her. Cool. If you need um, I can check I, the, the site too, uh, to compare with great. the designs. Great. If you need help and, with that. And I, I also would like to, I will appreciate a lot to have some some feedback on, on my own code because I sometimes uh, code and code and code, but then it's it's like, of course, I, I also do a lot of mistakes that I would like to, if maybe what I can do is is to request a, some, some reviews and if, if they are, are fast, it's, it's not going to block anything. But I sometimes also would like to appreciate. OK, fine. Um, what else? I think that we have covered all the all the things, because Didi was also working on the Market maker, well, actually not the market maker, the the TC convert. She was doing new. She was solving some some issues there, and Rain finished the 
the besting and the besting part of the token manager application but nobody reviewed the his code i think that bb could do that but bb was on on the, the taking some de, some days off so uh, it's okay, it's something that is is still missing is uh where should i make that issue Ah no, but, but we can. It's it's not an issue. She can review the. You you can ask her to review the the pull request. Okay, do whatever. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just be, I'm behind. I'm behind. But uh, my my what's where is that pull request? Um, in the first pull request, I think that is the first one. You can just add here. In the hatch, you can just add here. In, in TEC hatch? Uh, no, it's in the TEC UI. The TEC UI. The restyling library? Yes. Yes. We can send you the component page. The okay, here. Component page. Okay. So it will be much easier for you to review. So it will be much easier for you to. Adults of your Adults of your This one's Fiore as well? Yes. No. This one, because this she was referring to is. review that everything is, is matching. Review that everything is matching. In this one? Yes. I can find a link there I too. I can find a link there too. Well, the, I, the want to I, want to I wanted to say, I don't know I if Fiore uh, will be able to Fiore review this, be this PR because it's just the, the code here. The thing is that, that there is that box. That the box uh, interfaces that you can see how every component is is looking. Well, Maybe we can coordinate a, a call, Fiore, if you want, and I can run the uh, the example site on my side, and and I can show you how the component looks. Great, right. yeah. Great, right. perfect, cool. yeah. Perfect. It, it would be also very nice to have. It, it would be really nice to have a deployment because we are we have the version and it's not it doesn't cost so much to configure it. So we have the latest UI in a application that is running somewhere. So we always can show the components. Okay. I think that it's very easy to do. I can I can do it. Okay, so these seem like the things that are basically blocking the the test deployment. Is there anything else that's blocking the deployment? I think that it's all. Nice. Okay, so um, when if you guys had to guess, what's what do you, will we be able to launch it for Thursday? We can try. 
Okay. I that sounds that, that uh, sounds cool. I mean, it'd be. <laughs> I can I can not put my hand on the fire. We can try. We are closer yeah. that, than ever. Also, there Very are cool, things that cool. we can yeah. postpone. Yeah. For example, yeah. the PC UI can be postponed one week if, if we don't have it for this week. So we can go with the minimum thing if we need to. Nice. Okay. Uh, so after the the launch, the next thing on the to do list is finalizing the smart contracts. Uh, I it seems like we probably won't be able to finalize the hatch smart contract because we'll need we'll have user testing and then want to put feedback into it, right? Hmm. But I think um, it's going the, to be pretty after the launch, done. I, th I think that if we add the impact hours, the contract is going to be pretty, pretty done. And the feedback will be about the different parameters. But the contract will be mostly, mostly finished. OK. Um, what about the dandelion smart contract? I think that we are going to use the same one. The idea with that was to modify a, a little part. So when you vote, you don't block everything during two weeks. You vote only the tokens that you have been voting. Because the problem that we have right now with Dandelion is that imagine you vote with one token, and then you received another token because you buy it on the bonding curve or whatever. You, <laughs> you have two tokens. You only voted with one. But you have the two tokens locked. Two tokens locked. And it's a, we can say that it's a book from Dandelion. And the idea was to fix that book. But by the other, but the other thing is, is like, if we don't fix that, we can go with the Dandelion that is already working on, on one height. I don't think it's a feature that's so critical. Yeah. I yeah. think it's OK to block. You vote yes, you, you're just blocked. I think that's OK. OK, so then what you'd say is, I mean, is that, does anyone else have an opinion on this uh, about fixing that issue or not, like a strong opinion? Because we could just close this issue right now and. It is done. The Danny Lyons smart contracts are done. And I, I like actually, that. it's not done. We can say that it's not critical for one year. But yeah. Sorry. I mean, you know, we, it's all about context. It's, it's done for us to go pass it to a, a, a code reviewer and him to say, yeah, these contracts look good as far as I can tell. I would like to fix the, this thing because it's it, it's also related with other things that we can we can fix. Uh, but the thing is, they are not critical. So because yeah. we are delayed. So, so this can be. So I, I won't close it, um, but I will put in the title "Not Critical for Hatch," and it's something that the Garden Swarm is an organ after. Uh, we launch uh, the TEC. Yay. Sorry, I just got out of like three hours of doing this. Like I had one, uh, the give it call where I do this with the GitHub and then two hours with the common <laughs> stack. And now it just feels like, it just feels so good right now. I am just rolling with it. Uh, sorry about that guys, I'm having too much fun. I don't mean to take over the meeting with this, 
maybe I, I feel like we just nailed down to just two issues. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then some other random issues that are all sorted. There's nothing else for the hatch uh, or any other issues that I can think of. Um, do you have anything else, Sam? Yes, the the work I uh, we I, I like to do with Pure. I think that we should uh, delay it a little bit more. I I wanted to work with you on on the redesign of conviction voting Pure, but we are very delayed with the hatch. So maybe we we are going to dig in that on on January or so. Okay, I started working on that today. Uh, related to our meeting what we discussed in that first meeting uh, days ago so mm -hmm. i have to to work something and then we can get back when you got the time in january okay yeah yeah fiore please sam <laughs> you know how we said so um, when the hatches Oh, sorry. There is a lot of delay. Sorry. You can say it again, Fiore. Yeah, sorry for that. No, it's just uh, that I'm Fiore and no, not Fiore. <laughs> just that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. <laughs> when, when I speak Spanish, I call you Fiore. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> it's like the English chip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we we maybe have been something similar. Yeah. Um, cool. Well, uh, anything else that we like? I I feel like um, are, are there little things that like Fior and uh, Fabi can help with that uh, since they're here or Meta Verde or any, uh, that you feel like would be helpful for the launching the hatch. The, uh, this is Meta Verde. I don't know anything about it. I'm just listening, trying to catch up and get a feel. So you guys are great. Thank you, Meta Verde. I think that um, you, uh, the the params the params call. If if you can also attend, it's it's going to be a a very good place to. Uh, discuss the different parts of the of the technology too. And it's nice to have you here. And maybe, oh, Gigi, the, did you wanted to to comment something on the on the impact hours formula or something like that? Uh, I I you already said that you you like it, but. Do you have any other feedback that in some way you will change it or something? I, I was wondering if it was everything fine. I was looking for feedback to, OK, but that that is not exactly uh, true or whatever. I don't know. I, I, I have been working on that, but I, I, I am not 100% sure that it's it's the formula that we want. I, I, I know that it's the formula that we want, but maybe the interpretation that I do to that formula was not totally correct. Yeah, so I think the formula is really cool. And but the I think the biggest thing with the formula now is simply the complexity of it. So we need the translation so that everyone can really understand what's happening. And I know even me, I was reading through it and I don't think I got all the intuition so far. For example, I was a little bit stuck on the M parameter. It seemed backwards to me, like it, it should have been the opposite. You know, I, I'm not, I don't have it up in front of me right now, but I, th I think the next steps with the formula are to really sort of have some dialogue around it, get people thinking about it. And um, I, I can do that as well. Uh, I'll go on the forum and I'll, I'll just think about it more and see what I can post. And I, But I think all it's going to take is having a few discussions. And like in the parameters call, we'll talk about it. And I think we'll all get some good mm -hmm. intuition around it. I think that's the major thing, is just like getting everyone 
up to date on the intuition around it. And then we might see, we might have to tweak it a little bit, but but yeah, I, I think it's so cool. It's just the math of it, so clean. Um, it's really impressive. I also had some problems with the M. Actually, initially the M was accompanying the two X, two, the, mm. the two X's on the nominator and the, and the nominator. Mm. And the current M is the inverse of the two initial M's, mm. which accompanies the the X, the U, the H. Uh, mm. So it's it's better, but it's the inverse of of, of the of having the two M's accompanying the axis. Okay. So instead of, you can say 1,000 1, instead of, of saying 0 0.001. Yeah. And, and that 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.001 accompanies the two axes. I think that it's, it's better right now, I think. But still, what, what, what exactly is M? I think that I'm not, I'm not yeah, that's what I, I'm, I think maybe you did that in the reciprocal, like you just described, but you might have, I think the way you wrote about it, you might have been writing about your initial logic, because I was thinking, oh, I think it's going the opposite way. Um, so I'll, I'll double check that. That's that's good to know, though, the, how it can be the reciprocal. It could be the, a very small fraction, or it could be in the denominator. So. I, w I want to bring this up that um, this also is the case for what is called weight that has been renamed min effective supply. It's really just a scalar factor that's in the equation. And it's hard, really hard to give it a coherent description. It's mm -hmm. like, I, I feel like these things might be a little bit too abstract. And it, we might be kidding ourselves when we say, oh, this is what it does. Because no, it, it just tweaks the equation. And uh, and we can just say this tweaks the equation, and if it's really big, then it does this. If it's really small, then it does this, and not try to lie about it being something real because it's not. It's like, like I, feel I, like I think that in that case, it's it's something real. It's it's the amount of hours. It's it's the the units are die slash hour. And it's the amount of the rice die for one impact hour. So I think that we have a very good intuition on 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 what is on what is that. It's like it it allows you to to determine where where are going to be the slope. So if you have a very high um, dice per impact hour, the slope is going to be more like this and if you have a, a small one it's going to be like this you know so uh, there is some intuition in there we just have to figure it out <laughs> <laughs> if, if you can check it out well you see that i think that i more or less wrote what what it is but i think that you can even give a, a, another another sure. And maybe also, uh, even to rewrite it. What's that? Maybe to rewrite the what I what I said. Yeah, just I, the um, yeah. I'll just write out the intuition of of my understanding, and and then also for everyone on this call, I just linked that forum post in the TE One Hive channel. It's a great post, uh, Sam. Uh, really nice. It's a beautiful equation. Uh, in fact, I would. I'm curious if. Um, Jake has any objections to pushing back the ABC conversation and maybe just having a quick review over like the hatch, the hatch parameters and um, dandelion parameters that maybe didn't get enough play and we push the ABC stuff for later and this conviction voting stuff for later. Since, since we're, um, I don't know if Jake's here, but since we're really focusing on the dandelion DAO and the hatch, this week, maybe we don't distract ourselves with the ABC and conviction voting for the prams call too. Well, then, is there something else we can use the call for? Yeah, we um, don't even really need to discuss. We don't really need to go back over and review it. I mean, if there's something we can utilize it with this, then we can do that. Otherwise, there's just really no reason. 
Well, I think the reviewing the impact hours um, parameters and then probably a few other hatch parameters that have been updated. And um, we can work on we can work on this together, uh, um, Jake, and put together a, an agenda for it that really reviews the stuff that has happened in the other in the dandelion parameters and the in the in the hatch parameters that have just been kind of forgotten or we haven't had their moment, um, and save the ABC and C and conviction voting for next week because also we'll be then we'll be like upgrading to those things. And it'll be uh, a lot more interesting. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Uh, <laughs> and I should extend the invite. Uh, what time is that call? Four C. Uh, Four p.m. CET on Wednesday. Four p.m. on Wednesday. If you guys want to talk hatch parameters, and uh, it should be really fun. Cool. Anything else, Sam? I think that we are we have covered everything. <laughs> <laughs> Success. Well, cool. Well, then let's let's go have fun. Okay. Yeah. Let 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 rock. Let let's go do everything. And um, and I guess that see you in the Params call. Nice guys. Awesome.